put together Nungwe. Yes, family, we're in Nungwe. And we're driving through to get to Aman's bungalow. Or, but it's really a nice resort. And it is a beautiful three star resort. You know, on this journey, on the Tanzania journey of a lifetime, we have four star Kibo Palace. Three star Amman, Mongolo, and Dar es Salaam courtyard. Man, this is a rough road, man. That's good. It's like a roller coaster. So you tell me all these million dollar, multi-million dollar, big time resorts, taking them big money, and none of them won't pay the roads. Yo, family, man, what kind of thing is that, man? What kind of world we living in? Yeah, I said all the African countries raise the taxes. What's wrong with the roads? On the foreigners coming in to build their business. What's wrong with the roads? Roads are fine. Road. These are these are these are ridiculously expensive resorts. You mean they can't pave the roads? Come on, man. It's probably like a ten, fifty billion dollars worth. If, of you, yeah, if you was, if you was, you know what I mean. If they you would was, have to spend all their money to fix the roads and fix everything here. All right, if you were Elon Musk no rich, money. if you were Elon Musk rich and you had yeah, a big you resort have down there. Yeah, like billion dollars. <laughs> if you, if you were Elon Musk rich and things like yeah, that. Yeah, six hundred billion dollars. Then business, you could do that. Wouldn't. They're the um, resorts for 50 million. Son, when you look, you look on that map, son, you'll see a ridiculous amount of well, what, we, what, we, what people have to do is make things happen. We got we right here by the Double Tree Resort. That must be some expensive piece of property they have over there. I'll tell you, did you uh, tell you this was the area you were in, right? No, no, no. I stayed in Stone Town, but I just came up here to the day. Yeah, this is the place to be. This is a, this is a place to be. I'm gonna be hanging out, chilling, uh, chilling with my cousins. You're not. <laughs> This mommy, it does have a nice little small island vibe. With your family D, the road is rough. That thing was bouncing and bouncing and jumping. The stomach wasn't strong. Right. Langa Beach Bungalows. Just like last time we was coming from Kenwa, we had a little ride, but we was you know, driving through something similar to this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, uh, so that's what you have to do to get to the beach. You know, you have to just drive through. Bumpy, fun roller coaster roads. But that resort was just big, man. That's, but this, so that's, this resort is not as big and it doesn't have as much beach area, but you know. Why it, did you change it? Because it's in a better beach area and it's in a better social area and it's a bunch of other things. <laughs> Let me, show, let me show what this boy doing, family. That's what this boy doing. You know, you know he's, ex he's excited because he knows he's about to go swimming. You ready for me to throw you off the cliff so you can go swim? You're going to dive in the water? No. Yeah, but this is a... Who turns in the bar? Who turns in the bar? 
until it's end of one, okay? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Fun. Look at you're looking very close. Oh, you know what you're doing. Fun. Fun. So once you're on the resort, don't try to leave because you don't get lost. What six flags roller coaster is this? It's fun. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Fun. Fun, eh? Wow. This is is this a two way? Oh, so it's a two-way then. This is Hotel Zanzibar? No, what is this? This is Amman. This is a Soho Resort? Stop. Soho Resort? What? Yeah, it's nice with the rocks. There's rocks. And there's some weird mean gate that opens. You're going to sing a different tune when you see that beachfront. No, I'm not. I went to go back to the other one. The other one was dead. It had laughter and it better, bigger, better. Yeah, honestly, you know, this is a better situation. The other resort, we did love that other resort, but uh, this flow more of what we're looking to do. Yes, family, just wanted to yeah, totally show you our drive-in once we got to Nungui to Amman's bungalow. Such yeah. a resort. Yeah, a big resort. Oh. Yeah. So the yes, family, welcome to paradise. Welcome to paradise. Woo! All the rough pain of getting up early and flying and moving around, it was all worth it. No, it was not. Yes, I wonder yeah. who's going to volunteer for me to push them in the ocean. Yeah. Our family is amazing. <laughs> family, we are here. We are here. We are here. We are here. And we are happy and excited. It's been a long day, family. We got up at 4 o'clock this morning. 4 o'clock this morning. What time is it now? Like uh, 1 o'clock? <laughs> and, yeah, and you see, this is, my, this is my soul brother. We're really twins. That's five. Wow, family, what a day. Woo. And it is beautiful here, family. Hot. Beautiful. And nice and hot and tropical. You know, and we're going to get all settled you know, in. The, where, are the, where are the beach houses with the private pools? So we're going to get you there. Where yeah. are the beach houses with the private pools? Let's go help with the bags. Okay, so where, where are the, um, the beach houses? Son, everything is there. We're going right there. See right here? See right, at, right, at, right, at, right ahead of you, son? That's where we're going. Okay, with the private pools. Yes, family, we are here. So now we're gonna offload the bus and get everyone situated and everything. So family, uh, there's a nice little sitting area. You can just uh, relax and we're gonna get everything organized. Got everything packed up in the back right there and get it all worked out. So we are finally here. And let's enjoy this nice atmosphere of how we came in. And the next thing that we're gonna do is show you the front of the actual resort, uh, the beach front. So right now, we're gonna get you all connected.